bit of a wake up call out there, huh? It's going to be cold. You guys notice, right? <laughs> it's starting to get that way, especially with the wind. You're going to feel it this morning. I think that northwest wind is going to be making it pretty brisk all day and, of course, keeping us much cooler than we were yesterday. But it's also providing a few more of those upslope snow showers on the western slopes of the Green Mountains, probably in the Adirondacks, too. I think these are getting lighter and lighter, fewer and fewer of those. But certainly know that there could be a fresh coating or dusting of snow before you head out the door if you're in those higher terrain spots on those western slopes. Not too bad just yet. Again, you're going to feel it with the wind this morning. Wind chills are already pretty low, but it's 34 in Burlington. 35 in Plattsburgh, 30 Montpelier, not too far out of the ordinary. Problem is that we don't really warm up a whole lot. In fact, we're actually going to feel temperatures drop throughout the rest of the morning, probably back into the upper 20s right around mid morning and then barely back up near that 30 mark through the afternoon hours. Uh, we will at least find some sunshine today. It's going to be tough for those clouds to break up. It is November after all, but I think we'll find some at least hints of sunshine. But don't let that fool you if it does come out because wind chills are going to be in the teens and barely up into the low 20s all day. So the wind around 10 to 15 miles per hour, not necessarily super strong or super gusty, but when you add it to those 30 degree temperatures or lower, this is what you get. So please be prepared for that cold. I think it gets a little bit better by tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon as temperatures start to return a little bit closer to average and a south wind returns too. So here's that breakup of clouds. Again, it is November. I'm not going to hold my breath. I think we'll find some of those a little on the stubborn side, especially in the mountains. And they will, if you clear, if they do clear up, be moving right back in for Wednesday morning. And you might even wake up to a few little scattered snow showers. Another coating or dusting of snow as possible for tomorrow morning. As warmer air builds in, we find a few light lingering snow showers turn into some light scattered rain showers. Nothing super widespread, but they do get a little bit steadier in the overnight hours and into early Thursday morning. And then throughout your Thanksgiving afternoon, some scattered showers are still possible. So not a washout for Thanksgiving. It is going to be on the mild side, so that's some good news. I think highs are going to be in the upper 40s, but it might be a little damp at times as a few of those little spotty showers linger around through the afternoon. Friday, if you're doing some shopping, socially distanced, of course, well, it'll be nice and mild and dry before a few more showers return again on Saturday.